What's up guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. Um... I know the lighting is kind of weird but I really didn't want to open my blinds because it's like five o'clock and like I don't know the sun goes right in my eyes if I try to film during this hour I love you guys so much but I think that you can see me like just fine um so I just got in my new um tanning stuff I've used it a million times before so it's not like new to me but I got a new bottle of it and I always get asked yes I live in Hawaii I know that, thank you. I always get asked why I'm so pale, and honestly, I hate it. I hate that I get asked this question. I could sit in the sun, like one time I sat up at North Shore for like four hours and I did not have a single line on me. Sometimes I'll sit in the sun for 30 minutes and then turn into a lobster that night. I don't really understand why or how this works, but my skin does not like to keep a tan either. So I'll either peel or like the next day just won't be there. Like I'm not even kidding. Also ignore my beautiful pimple that decided to come out and play today. I don't really like her that much. She likes me though, cause she's not leaving my whole face. First thing I do, um, I kind of have like a leftover tan on a little bit. My arms look so weak. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower and scrub this off and then um, I'll show you guys how I tan. Okay, I, oh, I look like a naked mole rat right now. So cute. Also looks like I have brown hair. That is atrocious. I wanted to tell you guys what I do in the shower. So one, I exfoliate my whole body to like get off any one dead skin, two previous tan, like anything that could be on my body, you just want gone. I usually use a loofah and either like soap or body scrub. Also shave my whole body and um, I think that's it to like prep for it. I'm gonna towel dry my hair really quick and then yeah, I will be right back when that is ready to go. I am back, I have a bikini top on. I don't even, what is this bond that I have going on here? I look so chunk right now. I just ate so much and um, it really went all to my stomach. <laughs> the tanning product that I'm going to be using today is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. I love this stuff. I think I started using it like a year or two ago and literally I get so dark from it. It goes on so easily. It comes off really easily. Just overall, it's like really, really nice. I love it so much. The most A plus product ever. I remember when I first got it, I was really scared of doing the ultra dark. And thank God I did because if I had done anything lighter than ultra dark, it's just, I wouldn't feel like the bad bitch essence that I get when I'm tanned. You know what I mean? So the first dupe that I have is the Neutrogena Micro Mist in a deep intensity. I don't know if that makes a difference. Honestly, this stuff is really good. It made me pretty dark. Me and my friend Amy both used it. It made us both pretty dark, um, but it's more of like a yellowy orange tint versus like brown, but it looks really natural. It looks really good. Like it's not like anyone's gonna look at you and think you look like a carrot. This is super awesome. I think it's only like 10 or 13 bucks. I'd say I can probably get out of that can about two tans. The only thing is it does start to fade off in about a week, like maybe a little bit less, whereas Loving Tan lasts for like two weeks solid on me. And the other dupe I have for you guys, I actually tested this out the other day. It's the Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun Flawless Natural Looking Color Instantly in Light Bronze. I don't know if they have darker colors, but when I went to go pick up tanning stuff, they only had light bronze and I was like, well, it's either this or pale. So let's go with this. The Jergens lotion turns me orange like a little carrot. Like I straight up remember one day in seventh grade in drama, someone pointed it out to me that my legs were orange and it was because of that lotion. I was super scared to use this just based off that because it is Jergens, but this actually turned out really nicely. It was a really natural looking tan. It was super even. It just wasn't like as dark as I wanted it to be, but I don't know if that's just because I picked light bronze. It's probably my own fault. But overall, like both of these are honestly 10 out of 10 dupes. Like you get brown tan out of it. It goes on really like nicely. You don't have any blotching marks. You don't have any like weird funky areas going on. Yeah, I think both of them are like 10 or $13. So it's super easy, especially if you need something on the go. Like let's go pick that shit up. So I do have the loving tan little mitt. This poor baby has seen better days. Okay. First thing I do is make sure I'm completely dry. You don't want to be wet at all from your shower. That's why my hair is up and looking like this. 
I do about two pumps and I start with my legs and I work my way up and I'm, uh, as much as I love you guys, I really can't start from top down. I'll get confused. I know it sounds so stupid, but like there's a rhythm to the way that I go. So I'm just going to start with legs and once I get back up to the chest, I'll let you guys know what's happening there. We are now worked up to the chest area. So I always take a little bit and then basically go in like circles over my whole body. There's already like bronzer in it so you can see where exactly it has been and where it hasn't been. Then I always do my hands and my feet last because I just think that it's easiest, especially because you want like, not the least amount of product, but like it holds product like the fastest and heaviest because it's like the driest part of your body. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing my chest. I don't normally do this with a bathing suit on, so I'm just a little um, thrown off. Um, but see, like you can see there's like a line so you can see where the bronzer is and where it's not in there. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my body and then I'm gonna show you guys how I do my hands and my feet after that. My top is just off for this because I'm over it. <laughs> for my hands, I pretty much just take like a little bit on here and then I'm gonna split this up between the other one. Um, I pretty much just kind of like go on the top and in the creases here and then I bend my fingers and like rub them around on the little thing and same with my thumbs and then I get in between the fingers all around the side it's okay if you get like a little on your palm I don't know why but the palm like always washes off for me so if, if I have a little bit on there it's usually like completely fine I'm gonna like go around each finger and then you just want to make sure that it's really in your knuckles you can totally um use like lotion or something in between your knuckles i know usually that helps i just um i don't know not that i'm like a pro at self tanning but i don't really need to do all of that anymore and then after you finish both hands i don't self tan my face um but after you finish your hands i usually wash it off after about an hour i just feel like that makes it look the most natural because it gives it like a nice tint versus like having orange hands. I'm just gonna throw on a giant t-shirt and sleep in this. I try not to do anything for like two hours to make sure that it really just like sits in my skin. I will see you guys tomorrow when I'm tan and bronzed. Okay, so basically there's this thing called I suck and I never filmed, it's been like four days since I tanned. <laughs> I never filmed, filmed the ending. I'm, um, I just woke up, I'm, <laughs> Just in a daze. It is 12 20 p.m. and normally I wake up early because I have an internship and I don't like wake up super late but I've just been so exhausted lately. I think I fell asleep literally at like 12 last night and I slept till 12 20 so that just goes to show where I'm at. Anyways though I showered. I've gone to the gym three times. Let me see. I'll put like a bralette on so you guys can see. I'm definitely a lot tanner. Look at my face like compared to this. That's just a whole different person. I don't tan my face because I just like wash my face so it's going to come off anyways. And then my hands. Um, normally they look pretty good right now actually. My actually no that looks fine. Go me. If I ever have any like issues with my hands usually I'll take some face scrub like the say I've stuff and just kind of like lightly rub it along and usually it'll blend it out pretty nicely right now they look fine i think that's just because i it's been literally like three or four days so anything that was extra on my hands has already like rubbed off by now um or been like washed off yeah so this is my tan color as always guys i love you and thanks for watching if there is anything in particular you want to see let your girl know drop it in the comments down below like subscribe um my camera's crooked now whatever and i just kicked it but yeah thank you so much for watching love you guys and i'll see you next time